So we continue to look at John chapter three and uh, as Nicodemus comes, he comes to Jesus by night. He said, oh, Jesus, we know that you're from God. We know, we know that nobody can do the signs that you're doing. Nobody can do the things that you're doing unless you are from God. And Jesus told him something that just absolutely blew his mind. He didn't even address what Nicodemus said, but Jesus said, unless you're born again, truly, truly, I say to you, unless you're born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Truly, truly, I said to you. You see, up until this point, Nicodemus was dependent upon his religion for salvation. He was dependent upon his good works for salvation. And you see, uh, Paul warns us in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 5, he, he, he warns us about these folks that, that have a, a form of godliness, yet they have denied the power. They, they have this form of godliness, this churchianity within them, but it's all about legalism. It's all about works. I have to do this. I have have to do that. I have to do all of these things. And a lot of folks will say, well, Nicodemus was of the Old Testament, but friends, I want you to understand the means of salvation has never changed. Abraham believed God, therefore it was credited to him or reckoned unto him as righteousness. And he wasn't circumcised until after his faith in God. First, he had faith in God and that has never changed. If anybody deserved the condemnation of the law to fall upon him, it was David, but God called David his own son, and David was a man after, his own, after God's own heart, yet he fully deserved the wrath of God, the full condemnation of the law of God to come upon him. But yet somewhere along the way, Pharisees like Nicodemus thought that it was their good works, it was their good deeds, it was a, a, the keeping of the law. And along this way, they came up with all sorts of different laws. As a matter of fact, they came up with some just ridiculous laws. If you, if you, swallowed, uh, if you swallowed vinegar on the Sabbath, it was okay. But if you gargled it, it was considered to be works and therefore you're guilty of breaking the law. If a chicken laid an egg, Egg on the Sabbath day, you can eat that. Let that you can eat that egg, but the next day, the day after the Sabbath, you had to kill the chicken because the chicken broke the law. He worked on the Sabbath day. That's that's mind blowing. And all these laws, all this religion, all this religious stuff. But friends, they were so far from God, even in their religion separated from God in, even in their sins, even though they were legalistic. Jesus called them whitewashed tombs. What is that? Looks good and beautiful on the outside, but it's full of dead men's bones on the inside. John MacArthur said this about the, the Pharisees. It says, though they were fanatically religious, they were no nearer to the kingdom of God than a prostitute. Think about that for just a minute. And that was the religion. You know, friends, God doesn't care about religion. We're saved by faith, and we're going to talk more clearly about that later on in the week. But Jesus told Nicodemus, we looked at yesterday, he said, unless you're born again, you can't see the kingdom of heaven. But then Jesus said in verse five, Jesus answered, truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. Again, we'll talk more about what, what it means about being born of the water and the spirit. Uh, uh, tomorrow we'll talk about that or the, or the next day actually. But Jesus said once again, unless you're born again, you can't even enter the kingdom of heaven. Your good week works, your, your, your righteous deeds, your righteousness is as filthy rags in the sight of God. That's Old Testament. That's Isaiah. And Nicodemus should have known this. And when Jesus said your good works isn't going to get it, everything you thought was the way isn't the way, Jesus said, I am the way. And you must be born again. Nicodemus didn't comprehend it. He said, how can these things be? Jesus said, you're the teacher of Israel and you don't understand these things? You know the Old Testament and the Old Testament testifies of me. 
And you should know. But you've looked towards your religion rather than look toward me. We've got so many folks today with a churchianity sitting in the church pew Sunday after Sunday. Might be some of the most faithful people in the world. But they're dependent upon their religion to save them rather than being dependent upon the person of Jesus Christ to save them. We have to be born again. We have to die to everything of this world. And we have to come alive to Jesus. Nicodemus would have gladly fasted. Nicodemus would have gladly given money. Nicodemus would have, would have gladly sacrificed himself in some sort of religious way. But Jesus said you have to be born again. Unless you're born again, you can't see the kingdom of heaven. Unless you're born again, you can't enter into the kingdom of heaven. And Jesus is the only way. So we die to this life. Die to everything that makes us, us. And we come alive to Jesus. Now that's good news. Good news worthy of sharing. Good news, certainly worthy of receiving. So would you share this video so others can hear, others can receive, and others can believe. What time is it? It's time to share the good news.